You fought well yesterday. Your style is unorthodox. Six. I know I was supposed to stop at five. I told you I don't know. You know I can feel when I need to about to um, stop the conversation, but then something somehow it it adds on to it. You know what I mean? So I want to go into one more time because when you do a video, you got to inject information. Because you don't know who's watching and don't don't allow them to lead you into believe what they think. And I notice I have to do that, put out certain information first. Okay, I'm not your preacher, I'm not your pastor, I'm not your reverend, I'm not your minister, I'm not your deacon. Do you hear me? You heard that, right? Okay. I'm not your scholar. No, I'm not a scholar. I'm not no archaeologist, I'm not your astronomer, I'm not a mathematician, scientist, social studies teacher. I am none of these things. Do you hear me? Clearly. Okay. I am your messenger. My opinion, my research, my books, my documentaries, my research that I've done over the years, I do not believe in religion. Do you hear me clearly? I'll say it again. I do not believe in religion. This videos that I just made this morning, six parts, I'm not your nigga and I'm not for sale. That's the title. So, I hope that you got it. Those who's listening, do not follow me. I will say it again. Do not follow me. If you follow me, that is on your own accord. I'm not changing nothing of what I do. Nothing. Understand that concept. Understand it. You fought well yesterday. Your style is unorthodox. You heard that? Did you hear that? Every video is telling you I am different and I'm not changing nothing because I'm not looking for no money, no views, nothing. If you watch this, it's on your own accords. But I hope that you learn something. Then you begin to educate yourself, do research, cross-reference, don't believe the first thing you read. Don't believe the first thing you watch. You only regurgitating ancient ancestors' work. Here we go. You regurgitating Kemet, which you all call Egypt. You regurgitating the Mayans. You regurgitating the Sumerians. You're regurgitating the Babylonians. Excuse me. Now, you're regurgitating these works that already took place. They already have established their own conception about the spirituality. The religion that you study now is regurgitated with spirituality. That the Bible has been rewritten over and over again. Do your research and you're going to find this out. All you got to do is get yourself three Bibles.
these three Bibles, my opinion, and the choice that I made, I chose the King James, the New World's Translation, and NIV. I'll be right back. Now, I told you, right? But I understand how people are. You need evidence to validate what people state. You can Google this stuff up. You probably have the King James Bible in your house or the New World's Translation. The NIV Bible. Huh? Yeah, you, you thought I was lying. The King James Bible, right? Look at that. You thought I was lying. The New World's Translation. Now, my Bible's old. I mean, it's old. It's over 20 some years old. So you see tape and stuff. But read that. It's the New World's Translation. Right? And I have a fourth Bible. The Vanadan. You want me to get that too? Okay, hold on. Zondra Dan, excuse me, Dictionary Bible. Oh, you thought I was lying. But I've showed you this in previous videos. So, what you see is four different Bibles. But I have more than that. Because I've downloaded the Quran. I have down the Book of Jubilee. I have down the Book of Enoch. I've down, downloaded the Tahara. Yes, you can get it in the English version. Yes, you can. We live in technology that you can receive these things and begin to read it. And when you do read it, when you do read it, you're going to find something very interesting. And what's going to be interesting is that they all have a similar beginning. Huh? But when you start to go past these books from modern time and begin to study ancient philosophies, you will see the beginning of creation. The story is completely the same. But the philosophy is a tick off. Meaning, its injection of the information is off by a degree because they do not want to extract and lose too much information. So they copied as best they can. This is why I choose not to believe in religion because religion is a lie as well is mixed in the truth. Nature does not lie. When it's cold outside, it's cold outside. When it's hot outside, it is hot outside. When you feel that wind, but you can't see it, but you know the wind exists because it's blowing. That's nature. When you plant your seed, to the in the ground and fertilize and the rains hit the ground and then whatever you planted you'll see and you take care of your seed and then it grows into whatever seed that it was an orange seed an apple seed a pear seed a watermelon seed huh that's nature the animals the bugs bacteria all this is nature so don't give me your philosophy of your religion. You can read all your scriptures. You see, I got the Bible. I got four of them on display. But I've got them in my computer. Show them all. You ain't telling me nothing. So I had to do this video to let some of you know Wake up off your own hyphenus. Has nothing to do with my pride. 
has nothing to do with that I don't believe in religion. It has to do with your journey. The journey that you take. And take your journey into a place that you will never, ever forget. Because you are on a lifetime student. I am a lifetime student and there will never be an ending. Knowledge is infinite. And you can never say, I know it all. You don't know nothing because you haven't scratched it all. You do not know who started the beginning of the human race. You got parts and bits. Because the Aniaki supposed to be gods who came down here on earth. Then Aniaka is supposed to be one of the coldest places on the planet. They're waiting for that, the glaciers to melt because there are sphinx and sphinx and different things like that that's there. That's supposed to be older than the, excuse me, So, in Antarctica, where you got all these new evidence, according to science, the pyramids and the, the sphinx and all these things. I want y'all to get this book. Get this book, please. Not only just get that, get the chronology of the Bible by Dr. Ben Jehonahan. The chronology of the Bible. Get these books. Get the Codex Game is Over by Shaka of Most. Get these books. Get them. I'm Chocolate I'm in Rock. Before you spew out information, and before you think you know me, or you think, oh well, I'm trying to get to know you, I didn't ask you to get to know me. And just for my delivering, my speech, I'm telling you what I am and what I like and what I do. Don't let the garments and things I get, these are my, my belongings to, to what I believe in. Dealing with the spirituality system of Africa. All right? Peace. Hope you got it. Hope you understand it. Get these books.